Do you want to learn how to play Neon and go for cool plays like this? Well, you came to the right place because I've insta-locked like Neon every day for over a year. I also stream almost every day playing Neon and I'm getting really close to Radiant. So if you guys want to watch me live, go to twitch.tv slash Timmit. With all that out of the way, let's start the video. We will be going over four main things, movement, utility, positioning, and teamwork. Because let's be honest, it's hard to make Neon useful without teammates. Obviously the most important thing with Neon is her movement, and something I highly suggest you do is bind your jump to either scroll wheel down or scroll wheel up. The main reason you want to do this is because it makes your jumping a lot more consistent and it's easier to go for plays. A lot of you guys are thinking right now, oh I use scroll for my weapons. That is honestly not a good habit to have because sometimes if you scroll, you might scroll two times and pull your knife out. I highly recommend you do not do that and bind scroll wheel down or up to your jump. It'll make everything a lot easier in the long run, trust me. Let's start with the basics. So the first thing you're going to want to do is learning how to jump consistently. So as you can see, you just hold W, jump in a line, and practice that jump right as you land on the ground. Once you get that down, you can do this. I'm out of here. And then the next thing you can add in is strafes. And that'll look something like this. Gotta go. As you can see, whenever I'm strafing to each side, I'm moving my mouse along with it. That is also something that is very crucial. So kind of like when you're moving around the corner, right? You want to turn into the corner. That's what you're doing every time you strafe. So you're turning into it. It might sound kind of confusing, but if you just watch it over, it should make sense. If you figured that out, you completed step one of neon movement. The next step is ropes. And as you can see, to get off a rope, I can just scroll wheel and that gets off. That is another main reason you want to bind it to scroll wheel. Ropes are also a big part of neon movement and is honestly something I don't see a lot of. To practice this sort of thing, you kind of just have to go on icebox and jump around until you figure it out. Um, but to explain it, basically you want to press your interact button and scroll wheel right as you get on. And once you get enough practice, it'll look something like this. It probably won't look like that. Also in that movement I just showed you, I did a backslide. If you don't know how to backslide, it's very simple. It just takes some timing to get used to. So you, all you have to do is hold W and then right as you want to slide backwards, you press S and slide. So once again, you want to hold W, right as you want to slide backwards, let go W, press S and slide. It's that easy. There is also two slide boosts in the game that I'm aware of and I'm going to teach you how to do them. So the first one is right here on the Lotus. You want to go ahead and go all the way into this corner. Once you're all the way in, you want to tap crouch just like that. After that, you're in the corner, pull your sprint out. Go, go. And you want to just go ahead and do that. The other slide boost spot is right outside A main on split. And the way I found out how to do this most consistently is that you stand on this big box right here and you just basically jump and then slide backwards into the corner like that. So you jump, slide backwards, slide into the corner. Ready? See, that wasn't that hard, right? I bet you can't do that one. I know it may seem like I'm going over everything very fast, but try to keep up. Also, if you guys join my Discord at discord.gg slash timid, there's plenty of people in there that are down to help you guys. The next topic we're going over is Neon's utility. I honestly haven't seen a lot of Neon mains using her abilities correctly. The main point of Neon is to create space for your team and entry the bomb site. So whenever you're throwing your stuns, you don't only want to throw your stuns when you see the enemy, you also want to just throw them at common angles. So let's say you're entering A side on, on Pearl. You want to just go ahead and throw a stun there and throw a stun secret. And as you can see, it'll stun anyone playing in these common angles. They will either get stunned and have to wait to peek, or they'll have to be forced into the open. Neon stuns are very good at zoning out the enemy, just watch this clip. As you can see, I throw two stuns right here, and it forces them to the left side, and then I slide and go for the kill. A lot of people like to just throw up their neon wall into the middle of the bomb site as they entry, and that's usually pretty ineffective. The main reason for that is that it makes it very easy for the enemy to just swing into your wall and go for a free kill. Here's an example of a good wall. As you can see, if I throw it on this left side, anyone playing art has to go through both of my walls to even go for a pick. So it makes it a lot more risky and it's not as easy to just peek into it. Also with that wall, you're able to isolate a gunfight towards secret a lot easier. The main takeaway is to just think before you just throw your wall up. Does that make sense? Maybe? Whatever, man. The next topic is positioning. As you can see in this clip, I have my ult popped with my slide. I hear that Rainer reload right outside that doorway. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide into this gunfight and it makes it a lot harder for him to kill me there. I kind of sum up positioning as making your life easier and harder to get shot at, which kind of combines movement as well. Remaining. And as you can see right there, like I'm just kind of styling on him, but that just shows how powerful it is if you combine your positioning with your movement. 
Here is another good example of positioning. As you can see, I'm in a 1v3. I hear him plant the bomb. I throw a stun default. Go ahead and slide into that to isolate the fight. Get a free kill. And as you can see, my teammate says 80 on him. I am also one shot. As you can see in this position, I also have my slide. I go ahead and slide into that gunfight to win the round. Positioning is also about kind of manipulating your surroundings and taking the best gunfight possible. Also, the last topic is teamwork. That kind of just boils down to you calming through teammates. Um, that is something I actually struggled with for a while. I kind of just expected my teammates to do exactly what I wanted without even telling them, which is obviously not possible. Especially if you're playing Neon. A lot of people don't know how to play around Neon mains and uh, you just gotta communicate with them, tell them what you want. And I guarantee that'll lead you to more wins having more confidence and also give your teammates more confidence to use your microphone tell them what you want and get that elo i hope this video at least helps somebody out there and if it did please feel free to leave a like uh, make sure you guys subscribe for more neon content and check out all my other videos i bet you'll like them and uh yeah i'll see you guys next time